Hey everybody, it's Andrew. Welcome back to part four of my complete colouring book collection. As of the end of July 2021, excuse me, I'm out of breath, including completed pages. So this part four is going to be all the Jade Summer books that I've got pages completed in that uh, haven't got whips in because you've already seen those few. So let's start. We've got Grimm's Fairy Tales Adult Colouring Book and I did the title page for Cinderella. Most of these have only got one page coloured in them. This is back in the day when I used to date them, I don't bother now. I might start writing it on the little tickets that I keep in them at some point. Um, so this was done with the Prismacolor uh, Premier Pencils and some glitter um, glitter glue, not stickles, it's flat, it's not stickles. So there's that one, this is my favourite, I love his jacket. Okay, I don't think that one's available anymore. Same with this one which is a delicious dessert. This one I did the cupcakes, this does have stickles on it I believe, yeah. Or it might be just glitter glue, I'm not sure. There are some books with, with stickles in. I do have some stickles. Um, I'm not sure what pencils this was done with. Uh, could have been anything. It's been that long. It's the only one I've done in it. I really like this book. I'm going to do some more actually. I don't think that one's available anymore either. I've got a few that aren't available now. Then we've got a Kwai Grace Scale colouring book. I think, because this is a bit of a, this was one that I got in I think that's the only one I've done. I'm just gonna check, let me just check. I got it at the Line Out Versions PDF. You saw it previously. I do think that is the only one actually. I'm just gonna double check. Oh, oh yeah, the red's gone through on there. Look, as you can see, that's gone through on there. Can you see the yellow? That's because I used on this one probably um, Arteza Everblend and I do try and leave a piece of paper in there for a good while so that it dries but obviously it hasn't wasn't long enough yeah that's it and then I've got uh Chibi Girls uh this is Grayscale Chibi Girls two books in one so it's book one and two I think I've done a couple in here and I've definitely done at least one because it's on the complete shelf I, do you know what it's been a while I'm gonna have to do some more of these I know one of the ones I did. Uh, maybe it is just the one. It probably is just the one actually. It's the pattern books I tend to do the most in, I've got to be honest. So that one hasn't got yellow through yet. This was done with Artesis as well. And that's on the red carpet. Again with Arteza Everblend and some glitter gel pen rather than glitter glue or stickles. I think that's probably the only one then. Yeah, that's the only one. Oh no, I did this one as well. I still like her, she's cute. So it's that one. Then we've got Cute Fairies. Uh, this is Grace, the um, line art. So there'll be two versions of each. I do like the fact that now, I can't find the one I've done in here. The fact that they now tell you where the second set is starting. And I'll do some more in this one. It is hard to find them. Where is she? There she is. I did this one. Do you know what? I can't even remember doing this one. It must have been so long ago because it's not that good. I mean, it's got, I don't know what pencils it were at all, but I think that's the only one I've done in there. Yeah, that's the only one in there. Then we've got Flower Girls. Again, I think this one is available still. I'm not 100% sure. Again, I've only done one. I know I've only done one. Yeah, I do like these. Um, it's that one. Give her an orange daily lay, as I love them. Again, I, I would do it differently now, um, and, but I'm still happy with it. You know, I can see where the, I would have put a lot more time into the color in the hair and everything. It's still really pretty. So that's Flower Girls. 
Next is Alice in Wonderland. This is the line out version. I do not have the grey scale and I have only done this first one. Quite pleased with that. Yeah, you know, I actually took this one in hospital when I was having Jennifer and I never coloured in it then. It was when I came out of hospital I did it. I think I might have started it a bit, but yeah, I quite like that one. I'm going to have to do more in this book as well. You just forget how good the books are. So that's Alice in Wonderland. Next on the Jade Summer is Island Paradise. Now one of these isn't available. Was I this one or the next one? I can't remember. I'll just find the one I've done. Most of these are side on because they're, lands they're in landscape rather than portrait. Which I'm not complaining about. It's just finding it. Here are you. Here are you. There it is, and the girl, she's still a bit pale, she's just come out on the beach, got her sun cream on. Um, she hasn't tanned at all yet, so she's a little bit pink. And again, I can see a lot of lines on there, a lot of bits where I would slightly do it differently. But I'm still quite pleased with it, you know. This is when they did all the, a lot of the liney stuff, they don't do so much these days. Next is Under the Sea, <sighs> Under the Sea, I love that song. Um, again, this is one of their older ones. I think this is one that's definitely not available. Um, I can see we're using some glitter in here. I just the one I've done. And I did this one, which was the treasure chest. And I actually put blue over the sand and the treasure and everything so that it all looked like it was under the sea. But again, I can't remember what pencils it was. I've just got to change the battery. Okay, next is Hidden Garden. This is again one of their older ones, it's 2016 and I've only done one page and I don't know why, it's a nice book and I probably don't like the page I have done. Oh, that's not too bad, it's the Wishing Well and the Little Deer. Yeah, that's not too bad, I think that was Black Widows. That was 2017 actually, so maybe it was Prismas, I don't know. So I would do that, I mean that's four years ago nearly, it was November. So I, I would take a, probably take a lot longer to do it in now, but I still quite like it. I've got Unicorns Volume 2. I know I've done one, it's probably the first one known me. Yeah, I did that one. I remember doing that with my Touch 5 markers and they, I was doing this colour and it ran out, so I did sort of pink head. <laughs> so it looked a bit silly, but it's cute. I like unicorns, so... But again, it's the only one I've done in that one. The pattern books I tend to have done the most in. Uh, the next one is Unicorns, but the Grayscale Unicorns. So this is would have been Volume 1. I love the Grayscale books, I must admit. They are my favourites. And I did this one. And this is using markers. Probably RT's Everblend. I think it was only last year or the year before. Um, I love her rain the Unicorns rainbow hair. I think there's some glitter pen on there as well, probably. Yeah, they would have been on a, the unicorn's horn. But yeah, I like that one. I like that one. So nice. And then I've got the Ocean Colouring Book. Again, I've only done one. I know, I'm hopeless. And that's the cover page. But I do like this one. I think it looks so sweet. It's all kind of co co copied the colours, but not completely. Uh, yeah, it was, it was fun to do. I, I like that, it's just markers, probably Arteza. i have to find another one in there. I, I like looking at all these old pictures and pages, it makes me want to do them again. So the next one is Ancient Egypt. This is one that's not available anymore. And I've only done one, and it was this one. And I love doing this one, I love the way it looks. And this was done using the Limache water brush markers. So they are waters. And so if you put it on watercolour paper, you could move it with a brush and spread it about. But I just use them as normal markers. There is some gold gel pen on there, as you can see on the ank. There. I love this. I love this book. And I must do some more in it. I absolutely love that page. And it's with Ancient Egypt and I am a goner. I'll tell you that now. Then we've got Light Fantasy. Now you can get Light and Dark Fantasy mixed and it is um, grayscale, but I've got the Light Fantasy and Dark Fantasy separate in the line art versions. I 
again because it's not a pattern book I've only done one if I can find it oh I, but I do love this one and that's this one and this was used in Black Widows um because this is the lime fruits somebody said they don't see the point of lime fruits because they never use it and I use it on there I think it looks beautiful I like that so that's from Jade Summer Line Art Light Fantasy We've got the Weddings Colouring Book. This is one I wasn't going to pick up, but then I saw some pictures and I actually did quite like them because they weren't all just white dresses like this one. This was done using Crayola pencils, the normal Crayola pencils that you give your kids. And it was done just to show that they, they work, they work well enough and you can keep layering and I could have done more with them, but I didn't because Jennifer stole them. But I am really, really pleased with that one. I... Mm. excuse me I just need a drink of water I love the way it came out I like colours I just put a little bit of grey on the dress to give it a bit of shading um, but yeah I was really pleased with that one considering it was literally it's all Crayola pencils and nothing else okay next the angels colouring book I think, I'm not sure this one's available anymore I don't think it is but again I'm not 100% again it's one of the old ones you can tell that I've only done one in here, not that happy with it. Actually, it's not that bad, but I could have done it better, but I did it all purple. I like I like the background. Again, that was four years ago. Actually, it's over four years now. It was May 17. It's mad. It is mad. Maybe I will start dating them. I don't know. Um, the last one in this first stack of Jade Summer books is the uh, Baby Dragons colouring book. And I've only done one in this. I've given given a copy of this to my mum. No, was it this one to my mum? Yeah, this one to my mum. And we were both colouring the same one and she hasn't finished it. And I did this one. And this one was done using the Shuttle Art Markers. I really love a little crab there. I think he's down there. You can't really see him. I'm not sure why. Oh, I need to zoom out a bit more. But I think that little crab is so cute. I love him. So I'm going to put these back and get the next stack of Jade Summer. I will be right Next, I have Mermaid Adult Colouring Book. Again, Jade Summer. I think there's, again, there's only one in here. But I want to do more. Where is it? <laughs> oh gosh, where is she? Oh, there she is. I, I did that one. And I'm really proud of this one because I actually put light on the the um the water reflections as well so that it actually looked like the sun was going down i'm not sure what markers they were that might have been limache actually and a mixture of other ones but that's the only one i have done in that one and i really like it it's a lovely book i like that picture um next is a beautiful dresses now this might be one that's not available i'm not 100 percent sure um, let's find it. It's quicker for me to pick it up and, and go for it. And I'm not 100% I'm keen on this one. Some of them I'm not. Where is it? I haven't actually coloured in this. I, that's not right. I must have coloured in this because it's on that shelf. Maybe I haven't. Ooh. I thought I had. Let me go through quickly. I'm sure I've coloured in this one. Oh yeah, there it is. That's right, because I thought she looked a bit like Princess Diana. So I, I coloured her in, um, so she looks like it's got marijuana leaves on the back. Uh, I think that was done with um, potentially Everblends or Oh Who Who's. But I like the, the way I've done the dress in three different blues. There's some uh, blue glitter there, I think it's blue glitter, yeah. And some silver as well. That's a nice book. There's some nice dresses in there. I'm, gonna have to, I'm saying that I'm going to have to do some in all of them, but it's true. I really do have to pull them out again. Uh, the emoji colouring book. This is, I, th I thought, oh my God, I can't buy that. It's going to be all yellow. I'm going to have no yellow left. But when I looked at the pictures, they weren't. So I did this page of the snack foods. And I just did it with Sharpies, I think, and various, and probably the shuttle art markers. Just mixed them all up and 
went for it. I actually really like it and I want to do lots more. Uh, when I saw the pictures and it wasn't just all yellow emojis, I was really happy. Next is, oh, Fantasy Colour and Adventure. I don't like the picture in this, I don't think, but I did. So I'll find it first. Oh, there we go. This, so, and again, these are detailed. This is one of their older books. Where is it? There's one in here somewhere. There it is. Oh, this one was all right. Yeah, I remember I did this this year for um, St. Patrick's Day. And that was done with the... I'm going to say shot arts and obviously some glitter pens for the gold and around his thing. Yeah, no, I do like that one. I remember that one now, now looking at it. It was my favourite one from the book. So I like that. I like anything to do with St. Patrick's Day. So that's fantasy. And then we've got the anime colouring book. This is one I did this year using a mixture of shot art and oh hoo hoos. Now you get two the same but not one's more anime and one's more realistic but I did that one which is the cover picture um but yeah I I, I like the way that came out it took me ages because I was like oh what do I do with this bit what do I do but I got there in the end um it's a nice book it'd be better if it was grayscale but it's an all right but I quite like this one this is one of the newer ones since the this year and this is the easy coloring book now I have done one in here, I, I mean, again, these are very easy pictures to do. I've got to find it first. I can't remember what I did. Yeah, it was only a couple of months ago, not that long ago. Was, again, I like this book, there's more I want to do. Oh, I just did this little bouquet of flowers and I just did it with the, some glitter gel pens, possibly Link Shine or a mixture of, of various ones I was trying to use up. Yeah, it's really nice. I like that. Really nice little pit, little book. I'm gonna, you know, I'm saying this on every book. I'm gonna have to do more in it, but it's true. This one I've done two in. Yay, go me! And um, this is another one that's quite an old one. Live your dreams, and I have done. Oops, I've gone past it actually. Oh, it's stuck. Nope. There are definitely two in here. This one, Always Dream Big, which is done, I think, just with Sharpies and glitter gel pen. Or, and metallic gel pen, looking at it. And then, I, I know, I did my pride one from here. Life is better with you for all my LBGTQ friends. Because I love them. I thought that was really nice with the little rainbow at the top because life is better with you. Then, Grayscale Tattoos. I love this book. Again, I've only done one because I'm hopeless. And I have like in excess of 300 books. And I did this one. And I love this book. And I love this picture. And I'm so proud of this one. I think she looks amazing. She's got a little bit of glitter on her tail not a lot I literally just went over the scales oh well, she's got the red aerial hair this was done with the oh hoo hoo markers pretty sure that is the only one that's in there as well yeah next one in this stack is gothic tattoos again tattoos I love them and I did this one I am so proud of this I love this picture Again, this was done with markers, probably oh hoo hoo, uh, and a mixture of others. I tend to mix the markers up because I'm not bothered about that, but I really like that. With the flames, or the blood, or whatever you want to call it, I just think it looks fab. I love this picture. And from Gothic to Easter, I do have the Easter colouring book for beginners. This is the last one in the stack before I go and get some more. I think I've done two in here, maybe. Maybe. Let me just have a quick look. I know the one I have done. So, oh yeah, I've done this one. This is the first one I did in here, and it was just the Easter eggs. But I really like that. I was done with some pencils, but I don't know which ones. And I did this one, and that just looks like it's shuttle art or sharpies, to be honest, looking at it. Again, it's a really nice leg. 
So these are quite simple. Oh, is there another one there? There's another one in here. Oh, don't tell me we've done three. There's paper in there. That usually means, oh yes, and I've done this one. Hey, hey, we had a book with three pages done in it. Hey, and that one. Happy Easter. So next stack is coming up. There's still loads I better crack on. Okay, uh, next stack of books. And we have uh, Summer. I do think I've only done one in this. So I might pull this out and do one this month because we're still in August. Um, let me just have a, yeah, it's the first one I've done. Summer. And oh, that was just done in markers and it looks like it's Sharpies to be fair. Yeah, it pretty much looks like Sharpies. So I'm going to put this to one side and try and colour in that this month. So I'm actually going to put it on the bed behind me. We've also got the autumn colouring book. The only one I've done in this one is this one. But of course autumn is almost here. That was done with various gel pens. So when we get to autumn I shall try and pull that one out again. And next we're on to the Halloween books and horror books. So we've got Halloween patterns. So the only pattern books that won't be with the pattern section and same women dollars will be ones that are seasonal or themed such as Christmas, Easter and this one. And this is the only one I've done in here. This book came out last year so I hope to do more. Not necessarily in, in glitter gel either. That was glitter gel. I might just get some um, super tips or some fine liners in and do those but that was done last year when it came out. Then I've got Jade Summer Vampires. This is the first one. You can get Vampires Grayscale 1 and 2 as one book. I've got them both as line art, but they're not in the right order. Where's the other one? Right, I'm going to put them together <laughs> so that they are. So this is one I need to do more in. I do like Vampires, and I know... The only thing that put me off is that the male Vampires are very... They're too clean looking. So I tried to make mine look a bit more butch. I gave him some stubble. And I, you know, I made his hair a bit wilder and buffed him up a bit. But yeah, they're too <sighs> twilight looking for my liking. I like my vampires to look a bit tougher. Think of Richard Armitage in Robin Hood as Guy's Gisborne. <coughs> That's how I want my vampire to look. There you go. Still a good book though. Volume 2. Not sure which one I did in here. Oh, actually, I think I do kind of remember. Maybe not. No, I don't remember because I don't know where it is. Huh. Uh, here we go again. There it is. Yes. Uh, the girl and the vampire. Again, he's a bit too good looking and he? he's a bit too twilight. Maybe I'll take some markers to the next one and see what I can do. I'm going to just do one of the girl vampires on their own. Who knows? Haunted House. Now, I don't know whether it's this one that's not available or Everyday Horror. One of the two aren't. And I wasn't keen on the picture I did in this. This is 2017, so it's quite an old one. i just got to find the one I did. I did this one. I'm not that keen on it. I think it's a bit wishy-washy. I would do it totally different again, which I can do because, of course, there's two in it. But that is the only one I've done in, a, in here. So I kind of want to do... So It's because it's, it's all so... Oof, that, oh, that's quite good. I want to do that one. Oh, that was easy. Next one is Dark Fantasy. Uh, so this is the one that goes with Light Fantasy. But I've got it in with my horror stuff. I've done one in here. I remember doing this, sat outside last summer, doing this one. I think it was last summer, it might have been the summer before. If I can ever find it. Where's she gone? There she is. And this is my red vampire. And I love this page. This was done with polychromos. It's all polychromos, I love it. I like my polychromos actually. I'm getting better with them now, but uh, yeah. I wanted it to stand out against a very grey background. And I really like the way it came out. Ah, there you go. So there's that one. Well, there's a particularly horror one. We've got Cute Witches. Again, I've only done one in here. You can get this book in grayscale, but I got it before the grayscale version came out. 
and I did this one. This was done with Black Widows and they're so soft they're not that good on this paper. I much prefer markers on this paper to be honest. Um, although I did start using, you know, um, pencils like the Marcos and stuff on it. But I still like it. Um, yeah, but I think I prefer the Polys on there. I might even try the Brute Funas. Next is the Halloween colouring book. This is a nice simple one. I think I've done more than one in this one. In fact, I know I have. Oh, I still haven't done that cute cat. All the cute vegetables and the ghost. Um, yeah. In fact, I've done this um, sort of mandala page and the web is glitter glue, which is why it's sort of spread out in the middle, but it still looks pretty cool. And looks like black paint on the background. And then I did this, which as you can see, this is where the glitter glue seeped through slightly. Um, is that it in that one? At least there's two in that one. Yeah, that's it in that one. But that will come out again this year. Nightmare. Again, only one in this one. I did do the cover page with, this is when I really started getting into using markers. And I used my touch, uh, touch new ones, or touch five as they were then. Um, and it was then I decided I needed more because they were drying out and I'd hardly used them and it's talking's getting to me. Talk all day at work and then on this it's not good for your throat. I um ordered the uh RTs Everlands and then of course the shuttle arts got a load of Sharpies, got the oh hoo hoo. But I do like this. I wanted him to be kinda like Terry Pratchett's death, so that's why he's got the blue eyes and that, but yeah. I still like him, I think he turned out really well. Then we've got Kawaii Horror. Again, this is the line art version because the grey scale came out afterwards. And I'd already got it. If I can find it. Yep, here's the one I did. And I did this girl running away and she's got tears and everything. And I like this. Um, this was done with the Ateez F lens. And we've got Sugar Skulls. Now this is just in there, because um, although it's Dia de la Montes Mutos, um, but it's just uh, stuck in with the horror books, really. I'm not sure why. I've only done one, and I did this with some glitter, um, but it's all the fluorescents, but there's some glitter ones in there as well. Only one I don't, I'm not big on Sugar Skulls, but I do like these ones. I think they're, f they're something like this one, the Egyptian Pharaoh. Oh my God, I will do that one. But I do, I, I do quite like the way that one turned out. I'm going to make them all bright and colourful. Uh, Everyday Horror, this is one of the early ones as well. This was 2017. And, oh, I had this whip in this book for ages. Because I couldn't think, of, I was so busy how to, to finish it. And then I did, and I think I finished it with Black Widows. I'm not sure, yeah, I think so, that looks like lime fruit. And I just call it lawyers at the water cooler because that's how I think of lawyers as being complete and out of vampires not all of them but some of them <laughs> so I do I do apologize if you're a lawyer it's how I got through the page <laughs> but I will hopefully do some more. and then finally in this stack Chibi Girls Horror again there is a grayscale version but I've only got the line art because it came out first and I'd put off getting it for so long, hoping they'd put it out in, in grayscale, and they didn't, and then I bought it, and then they did. And this one, I wanted to do something really outlandish and completely different colours than you would normally use. So although green, which is a pretty normal and black outfit, I thought I'm going to do different colour skies, um, trees are going to be different colours, this ground is going to be a different colour. So we've got uh, purple fire, um, yellow rocks and ground, uh, blue trees, uh, pink grass uh, and so on, even an orange frog. Just because I thought it might be a little bit different and a bit more interesting than just colouring it the way you normally would. And I'm one of those people who usually have to colour it normal way. I, I don't like, but I really enjoyed doing that. So uh, we've got a couple more stacks to go, so I better crack on. Next. Okay, next one is Fairies, a grayscale colour. I'm not sure why that's where it is, because um, it's not horror and it's not where it should be. <laughs> but obviously I recently coloured in it, that's why. So let me just, there's a couple in here I've done. 
In fact, they're together. It's the two pages there. So this is the one I did last month with Jade. Oh, sorry, with Chelsea Jade and Mary Colouring. I'm not with it, Chelsea. Sorry, I'm just tired now. It's getting late at night, and I'm still filming. Um, so there's that one, and then this is one I did. I think it was last year, and I really I love this one. I'm proud of this one. I do love the way it came out. Um, yeah. Put them to one side and put them back where they're supposed to go later. And again, mermaids. Uh, this was uh, another one I did with uh, Chelsea. She had the grayscale version. I've only got the line art. So I've done two in here. So this is one I did a while back. No date, but I did do it a while back. I might put the. Yeah, I'm, I'm not one putting dates on it because then I'd have dates on it if I wanted to cut it out if I ever split them and this is the one that me and Chelsea did as a buddy and it's got all sorts of well, it's all sorts of markers and some metallic paint on it as well to make her shine but I like that one I enjoyed doing that I hope we did some Christmas ones as well Chelsea when it's Christmas talking of Christmas Christmas colouring books now from Jade Summer the first one is Christmas colouring book this is one they had several volumes of um, I think we're up to three and I've only done this puppy and I remember I loved it, this was 2017 as you can see I dated it, I might just start dating them in the corner like that again um, it, it, if I ever took them out I could always chop it off I suppose <laughs> so a little puppy um, and there are stickles on this one I enjoyed that, I, I love that picture, he's so cute and then we've got Christmas book volume 2 I, do, I love Christmas ones have I only done one in here or is it two? It looks like it's only the one. Let me go back and find it. <coughs> I might just colour loads in these this, this Christmas. Well, you don't have to wait to Christmas. You can colour them every time. I did this one. And that's just various markers and gel pens. Probably Sharpie looking at that blue. And um, that's the only one in there. Christmas volume three. I'm just having a sip of water because I'm so thirsty. Oh, I was doing all this, you see. Um, don't know. Oh, I like that door one. I just think these are so adorable. Um, and I did this one. This was just all done with gel pens. A Christmas wreath. Is that the only one in there? I think there might be another one in here. I might be dreaming. I'm dreaming. I was hoping then. I was really hoping. And we've got Cute Christmas. And this is the one I finished uh, last month. Uh, here it comes. When we find it, there he is. Uh, for Christmas in July. And that is the uh, Gingerbread Man on the dance floor. That was hanging around for at least a year. Possibly even a year and a half. Christmas Patterns. Oh. I love my pattern books and I did this one which was the penguins and I have done another one in this book woohoo and then I've also done this one again this is mostly done with gel pens by the way in fact it's completely done with gel pens except for the snow possibly I don't know but it's, it looks like it's all gel pen to me is there another one in here no I think that's it but I will double check but there's those two that's all that one then we've got Chibi Christmas, um, grayscale. These were put out quite quickly, and one after the other, the, the line art and the grayscale. So I actually waited for them to put out the grayscale, and I did this one last year at Christmas. <clears throat> and I really like it. I think she's so cute. She's like, ah, oh, stuck in. I'm going to hang it up here and hopefully get gifts. Another one I did for. Um, Christmas in July was one in uh, Kawaii Christmas. I didn't get a chance to colour in this last year when it came out, although I got it as soon as it did. And I did the, the girl sitting in the window with her cup of cocoa or her hot chocolate probably, looking at the snow, which I think is lovely. I love snow. Um, and that was uh, various markers. I think it was that was a bit of oh hoo hoo one touch five or touch new 
and those the Amazon thin markers that we all got last month. <laughs> We've also got Christmas colour by numbers and this one I have done a couple in because I love I love colour by numbers by Jade Summer so these are all done with various markers so your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> when wheezing that's never good. So some of these like I said were done last year uh, when the book came out. So that one done that one again as you can see I think these were the um Luna Shays. yeah and then we moved on to the oh who who's on that one and then I did this one last month for Christmas in July using all glitter gel pens because I found some that would match near enough the colours and I thought why not it looks quite nice nice and festive Christmas mandalas. I think I've only done one in here. And that's, yep, it's that one. Because these type of books, mandalas and patterns, I tend to do them in order. Um, I don't pick and choose. I like to do them in order so I know where I am. So I've just done that one. And I like the way that one looks. They, they've got a lot of Christmas books out, I will admit that. Christmas flowers. Don't know which one I've done in this one, but I've obviously done something. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get this done because I'm wheezing. And this would have been done probably with Sharpies looking at it. Santa! Hey, he's so cute. And if there's anything on him, it would be um, Winker Stella. And we've got Christmas animals. Oh my God, there are so many Christmas ones. I have done one, probably only one. Oh, look, that's so cute. Where is it? Yeah, here it is. And, oh, of course, a unicorn with a rainbow. Lots of bright markers, uh, some glitter pens. That looks like it's probably Everblend. I'd say looking at that. Oh, that's lovely, that is. Might not be, but I'm going to go with it. I just, I think that's so pretty. Oh. I forgot, I, you know what? I'd forgotten I'd done it. But now looking at it, I'm like, oh yeah, cool. Right, we're on to other pattern, the pattern books now. Swirls for beginners. So these are the ones I would be doing in order. So that's the first one. That's in gel pen, glitter gel pen as well. Oh my God, the amount of black that took. And there's two and a half pens. And it would have been Link Shine on that. Oh, I've only done that one, have I? Well, that's not good. I thought I'd done more in that one. Put that to one side then. And then 100 swirls. Now I've definitely done more in this one. <laughs> I like this book. And um, there's that one. I hope I've done more than one. I might be lying. <laughs> no, I think there is. And then this one. And again, these are just various markers. Sometimes I think that's Sharpies looking at that blue in the background. That was definitely Sharpies, I think. Something like old Shuttle Arts. And that one. These are the ones I'm not that keen on. The ones with the they got the birds. And so when it gets to the animals, I think oh, I don't want to do it. And that's when I stopped doing the book. So I quite enjoyed doing this one, which whichever markers I used. Oh, I haven't done that one. I like that. That's an apple. Obviously. Okay, I'm going to get the very last stack of Jade Summer books, and then we'll be done. I won't be a sad. Last pile of books. 100 <clears throat> magical patterns. This is the one I think Paul's got a picture in. This was one which I did um, with Anne from A Colourful Life. She had a challenge where you just picked your pens, chucked them in a tub, didn't look, picked them up and just did them as you found them. And I did that one using 100 Crayola Super Tips. Sharpies, I would imagine, looking at it. Nice and bright though, isn't it? Again, this is the sort I don't like. And this is actually coming apart. But that's alright, if it does come apart, I'll just put it in a PDF folder. Put it in a ring binder. So when I do get past them, I'm alright. But like, This was me doing a one colour challenge with pink. That was Super Tips. I think that was Super Tips. Yeah. That was Sharpies. <clears throat> Fish. And then this one. I like this one, actually. This is a good book. 
and that one was done using glitter pens not the best but it's alright looks alright doesn't it and well, I did these ones the little squirrels I think this is the one I've done the most in looking at, at these and this one was just using like um, the brights that's sharpie brights one colour challenge uh, one, two, three, four shades of blue. Every time, every now and again, I'll just do it. I might do one with red. I might do a green one next, or who knows. And then the owl. Now, again, I don't normally like doing animals, but I do like the owl. Another glitter gel pen one. Three colours. Well, I ran out of gold, so technically it went into four, because it's a slightly different yellow, but it doesn't really matter. And then this one. Yes, I've done quite a few in this one. So the next page I won't have done because it'll be a birds or something. It's probably birds. That one. Again, that just looks like it's some sort of water-based marker. And there's a bit of alcohol marker. Yeah, so because it's, it's birds, I haven't done it. And I'm pretty sure Paul started doing one of peacock in here. And he got about halfway through and then stopped. I don't know where it is. Well, maybe it's not. I'm sure it's this one. I haven't got another one like this, have I? No. Um, it'll probably come to it at some point. I don't know it was in this one. I'm sure it was. Maybe it's not. I don't know anymore. I'm not worried about it. There's a turtle one there. Rabbits. Yeah, he was doing one that was peacocks, from what I remember, with the super tips, but he never finished it. So at some point I'll reach it and I'll be like, I'll have to finish this off now, won't I? I don't know, it's in there somewhere. But I like that, but I've done quite a bit on this. I'm going to have to bite the bullet and do that one with the um, uh, birds on it. Flower and Alice. I do love these little pattern books now. And this is 2018 books, it's not too bad. Yes, I do that. So I've done that one. Is that it? Nope, I have done another one. Woohoo! So there's that one. And then we've done that one. That's probably it now. Oh, no. And this one, this was done with obviously glitter gel pens. Looking at it, it's Link Shine. And that's it, just three in that one. And this is why I'll never do a 10 books to complete in a year because I will never complete a book. <laughs> There's just too many of them. Mandalas for beginners. I like, I, I just love all these books. I do, I love them and I just want to keep doing them. So this one was done with metallic um, pens. I don't know if I like it or not. It, it looks better on camera than it does in the real world. And that was done using the Sakura Jelly Rolls, the um, luminous ones. More metallic pens. I think that, those are the Sharpie Metallics. I'm not sure which pens they are, but they're quite nice colours. I think they're probably just Sharpies actually looking at it. Yeah. This one. This was using the pastel pens I got at um, the watch shop. Apart from the purple, which had dried out even before using it. And I got it working by turning it upside down. And it works now. Again, little birds in a mandala. Again, not something I'd normally be happy with, but it's quite easy to do because it's the, you know, you just do them all the same colours. And another glitter gel one, and that's the last one in that book. But at least I've done, at least with these ones, I'm, I'm colouring more than one picture. <coughs> Excuse me. 50 easy mandalas. Again, this is one I do a lot in. I love these bright pens. They're absolutely stunning. And this is one I did just three colours, black, gold and silver. And I think it looks quite nice. Again, that's pastel pens from probably from Aldi, I think those ones were from. Metallics. Well, sorry, pretty gel pens rather. They're the metallics. They don't look too bad. That is definitely the Sharpies. More pastel ones. It's a nice bright set. Again, I don't know what pens they are, but they are nice and then that, that was a grey one where I just did what four three four greys one two three four greys I think it was three greys just to try and use up some of the grey touched five markers I've got left over another glitter gel pen one 
Ooh, those are nice bright colours. Uh, again, I couldn't tell you what pens they were. I think they might be ones I got from Liddles. And um, that's the last one I haven't done anymore. That's that one. It's nice to see these books because some of these I've actually done more than one on. Uh, this one I've only done one in. Animal Mandalas because you know me. I'm not keen on colouring animals. But I did do the first page. And I think it's just Sharpies and... Those depends, definitely Sharpies, those red, that red and yellow. Um, but yes, you know what I've done. But hey, it's not the end of the world. Um, next is intricate mandalas. I haven't done many in this one, one or two maybe. Because these are intricate. I do want to do more. Let's have a look. So we did this one. This was done with the brush pens from Lidl's. That is gel pen, I can tell by the feel of it. And that's it. <laughs> this is one I love and I haven't done anything in it for ages. I'm gonna have to try and pull this one out again soon. And again, I've mostly used the gel pens in here because the glitters, uh, I like the way they look. So there's that one, this is all Link Shine. Not sure where that orange is. That might be Link Shine. It just looks different because it's against blue, black, and silver. That's definitely Link Shine. That's just uh, four colours: two blues, a black, and a silver. Not the best I've done. More Link Shine. That's just various. Probably trying to use up colours. I think that's the last one. Yeah, I think so. Let's just double check. Yeah, so that's me just trying to use up some odd colours um, from my black bag of miscellaneous pens. I'm going to try one of them again. I've done one of them for a while. Uh, stained glass flowers. Again, these ones, I've only got one in each book. <clears throat> and I did this one with the gel pens, and I quite like the way it looks. The glitter gels, various ones. There's a lot of white lines on them, but as it's supposed to be glass, I don't think that really matters. But I quite like that. Yeah, like that one. This is another stained glass flowers one. Again, I'm doing them in order so it will be this colour. And that is just some random marker pens that I don't remember what they are. Terrible. I really don't. But I like that. I like the way that one came out. I do. Yeah. Again, we've got stained glass patterns this time. So let's have a look. So we've got, oh, now, yeah, again, I've only done this one, and I'm pretty sure that's Sharpies, various Sharpies looking at the colours. But, oh, I think that looks stunning. I like that one. So that's that book. And then we've got intricate patterns. Again, I haven't done much in this. One or two, maybe two, I think. I've done this one. I love doing that one, actually. Um, so there's not fine liners. It's slightly bigger, but I think that was the brush markers from Aldi Liddles. One of those two. I might get them out again and do another one. Oh, no, I might have done three, actually. <coughs> this one again done in gel pen. Yeah. And this one, which was done in three colours only. The page has got a bit knackered, but... It's gold, red, and black geometric shapes. And I just love the way it looks just with those three colors on it. It was hard work. I made a few little mistakes, but I'm quite happy. So yeah, I might come in and do this one, but not with the glitter gels. Although I might, you never know. So that's intricate patterns. Next we've got intricate flowers by Jade Summer. And then we've got the uh, last of the color, color by numbers. So we did this one. And again, I have no idea. More than likely, it's the ones from Liddles. That definitely is. I like that one. Because the first one I didn't do a background, and the second one I thought I will do a background, see what it looks like. And the third one was done with glitter gel pens, but no background. And that one was done with glitter gel pens and no background. Again, glitter gel pens, but with a background. And I think that's the yeah, that's the last one. So oh, I like that one actually. It looks really good. Right now we've got four more, and they're the colour by numbers. I 
haven't been colouring much this month because I'm trying to film this so I don't want to start anything in books I haven't filmed. <laughs> so I'm really just stuck with the books of showing you which ones I haven't coloured in. <laughs> which is good because at least I'm, you know, colouring my hoard. Uh, so there's this one. So these were done with Limachés and then onto the Ohuhus when I figured out the Ohuhus. So I think this one's Ohuhus because it was ages I couldn't find this. I think it was this one. I might not be in this one. I might be in a different one. And then that one. That one's a nice one. See, I'll probably keep out all of these colour by number books now. I'm flashing. I'm not recording! I'm, oh, I'm out of fucking space. Okay, so I just had a problem with my memory card and um, I don't know what's wrong with my big camera, it's not working at the moment. It, it, it always says there's no card in the camera, so I've changed cameras and one card that was working that I was filming now won't work, but the one that wouldn't work originally in the other camera now is. So I'm a little bit confused, but let's just finish off these few pages and books. So there's that one. That one. I do like these ones. That's Ohuhu. That was the first one I did with the Ohuhus. That one. And that's it. I haven't done any more in that one. Like I said, I'll probably keep these ones out because I do like them. Colour by number patterns now this is very hard to do because this the, the um the screen doesn't flip out so you can see it. it it flips out in two different ways but not the way to to see it properly okay so with this one we've got this one again this was done originally with the machets and this one this is a nice one i love the colors on there and that's it because i put this one away and I forgot I had it, and then I didn't do any in it for ages. Uh, flowers, colour by number flowers. I've done a few in this one as well. Again, started with the Limachés, and then we moved on to the Ohuhus. So oh, I like that one, that's so pretty. And there's that one. I think that was the first of the Ohuhus. It looks a bit smoother on the paper. That definitely was oh who who's and that's it in that one but at least that's four done out of that what, 50 pages and uh, another 46 this is my favorite one though beautiful patterns and this is the last jade supper book um, again started with the uh, limache and then we ended up with the oh who who's I just I love this book I mean, look, look how pretty they are. The patterns are just stunning in here. So I hope that this is okay and it's not too bad um, for you. Uh, with the sound, I don't know what it's going to sound like. It should be okay, because this is my camera I vlog with normally. So I'll be using that for a time being. That one. That's definitely Ohuhu's. I love that cut, those colours on there. And that one. So I think this is one of the ones I've done the most in as well because I've done quite a few in this one and I want to colour in this one again very soon probably within the next day or so I'd say that might be the last one yeah that's the last one so those are all the Jade Summer books now you've seen every single one unless I've bought any this month but you'll have to wait to find out um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, the Jade Summer completed pages and the books I've got if you want me to colour in any of them on camera let me know in the comments below and I'm going to bed. I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody. Bye.